What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the iOS 11.3.1 that has been released by Apple just a couple hours ago. And I'm going to tell you whether you should update to it or not, and whether it changes anything major in terms of jailbreaking since iOS 11.3. So if you take a look at the um, notification that you got on the phone, it looks something like this, iOS 11.3.1. I took this screenshot last night and it was like 36.3 megs on my iPhone iPhone 7 Plus running 11.3, so it's not a big update. And it says in here that it's uh, pretty much improving your security for your iPhone and iPad, and it addresses an issue where the touch input was unresponsive on some iPhone 8 devices because they were serviced with non-genuine replacement displays. And it also gives a note about these displays, and it says that they have compromised visual quality, and they may fail, and so on. And yeah, some information here from Apple. But if you take a look at the security contents that are not present on that notification, you can see there is a page in here called about the security contents of iOS 11.3.1. And yes, the iOS 11.3.1 does patch a couple of uh, vulnerabilities compared to iOS 11.3. So it's not sharing the security content of the 11.3. Now, if you take a look in here, there is a crash reporter bug from Iron Beard of Google Project Zero. And it says in here that an application may be able to gain elevated privileges. I wonder if he will release this into the public as it might be interesting if it's able to, you know, gain elevated privileges and it might help for a jailbreak. But yeah, we do not know for the moment if he will disclose this. Then you have the link presentation and WebKit, two WebKit vulnerabilities in here. So these are the changes in terms of security. Quite a lot, in fact, compared to iOS 11.3. So do not update from 11.3 to 11.3.1 unless you have that device unresponsiveness thing that this one fixes. So this is very important. At this point in time, you have iOS 11.3 and 11.3.1 both signed. But since iOS 11.3.1 has already been released and iOS 11.4 is in beta 2, this means that iOS 11.3 is most likely going to get out in a couple of days. So my advice, go ahead and save the blobs for the 11.3 and for the 11.3.1. You may need these in the future, so keep that in mind. Go ahead and save them using the TSS saver in the description down below. You do not have to be on iOS 11.3 or iOS 11.3.1 to be able to save the blobs. You just have to plug the device to the computer, go in iTunes and get the ACID. Uh, and that's the number that you need to paste in the TSS saver so that it can personalize the blobs for your device. Now, should you update to iOS 11.3 or 11.3.1? Well, no. If you're running iOS 11.2.6.2.5 or 0.2.2 and even lower, then Brandon Azad's tool will definitely work for you. So for those of you who do not know, he is working on a user space security research platform that is working for iOS 11.2.6 and below. And this might help on developing something like Houdini for iOS 11.2.6 and lower, or even to update Electra if the task for PID is properly uh, implemented. So if you take a look in here, I made a video about that, uh, that project that he is working on. So definitely check it out in here. The link will be in the description down below as well as in the cards up here and check it out to see more information. But yes, do not update to iOS 11.3 if you're running a lower version. And if you're already on iOS 11.3, do not go to 11.3.1 or to 11.4 unless you really have that serious problem with your display assembly not working properly and so on. So yes, this is very important. The um, update does contain some bug fixes and these seem to be quite important. I mean, there's nothing major. There are no kernel vulnerabilities patched in 11.3.1, but this particular one in here looks interesting since it says that it is a memory corruption and it has the impact that an application may be able to gain elevated privileges, which is something we need for a jailbreak. So there are important bugs that are patched, including these WebKit vulnerabilities in here. So do not update to it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geo Snow. Until the next time, peace out.